Hi everyone, and welcome to this video about how to set up your Fastos Mail Lite Mail Extra Starter or Starter Plus Mailbox in Outlook 2013. So the first thing I'm going to talk about here is Outlook profiles because it's going to affect how you actually add that mailbox. So what we need to do is open Outlook and one of two things is going to happen to you. Either you're going to log straight into your mailbox if you've got an existing one like I have here or you would have been prompted to choose an, an Outlook profile. So I've been directly logged into my mail profile here and I've already got a mailbox set up here bob at fastestwebinars.com I can add my new mailbox I'm going to add example at fastestwebinars.com and if I add it into this profile I'll be able to access both bob and example at fastestwebinars.com from this mail from this profile if I want to add that mailbox to this profile I can just go to file click add account and we can uh, add the account through here I'm not going to add it here at the moment because I'm going to show you the other way of adding it which is as a brand new profile so if we close that down if you want it so Outlook prompts you for a profile so you can have keep your profiles nice and separate if it's easier for you if you go into the control panel of your computer and it's going to be pretty similar for all of them if you just use the search function uh, which I'm going to do here I'm using a Windows Server version here, so you're gonna the search function will be slightly different for you. If it's Windows 10, uh, it would be just uh, next to the start bar usually. If we just search for Control Panel, and here we're going to change the view by to large icons or small icons, it doesn't matter which, and then just go to Mail 32-bit and then we can go to profiles and we can here you will see that's the existing profile I've got I've only got the one and I can either prompt for a profile to be used which is how I'm going to leave it or you can always use this profile and it will automatically log you into that one so if we apply that and then start Outlook if you haven't used Outlook before you'll be prompted with the set up a new profile wizard when you start and you're going to recognize uh, sort of the next screen anyway so we're going to set up a new profile altogether here So, okay, and now we can go through the mailbox settings. So first things, first things first, we want to do a manual setup or additional server types. So click next, and then we want to choose pop or IMAP. Your name is going to appear on the mails you send out from this account. So try not to have any spelling mistakes. And email address is the full email address you're trying to set up. Fast, example at fastestwebinars.com in this example. So the account type is going to be POP3 or IMAP. Um, I'm not going to cover the differences in this video, uh, so I'd recommend just doing a little bit of research if you uh, want to want to choose that one because you can't actually change it once you've set the mailbox up. Generally speaking though, if you've got multiple devices connected, you're probably better off using IMAP. If it's just this one device and you're never planning on uh, connecting another one, then POP is usually better. Incoming mail server is going to be mail.livemail.co.uk and outgoing mail server is going to be smtp.livemail.co.uk Username is your full email address, so example at Fastos Webinars in this example. And your password is your mailbox password. Now we've entered that information there, we need to go to more settings. First up is outgoing server. So for outgoing server, we need to set it to my outgoing server requires authentication and use the same settings as my incoming mail server. Then we want to go to the advanced tab, change the encryption to SSL for both incoming and outgoing, and then we'll check the port numbers. So port number for incoming is 993 if you're using IMAP, or if you're using POP, it's 995 for outgoing server it should be 465 and that's regardless of whether you're using pop or imap uh, just check a few of the op other options make sure you're happy so things like uh, sent items and you can change it so you don't have a save uh, saved copy of sent items click ok and then we're going to go next and it will just test the connection there and as we can see that's connected successfully so we close that and that's it. That's all there is to it. Done. So if we finish now, we can see that I can choose between my original profile or my new profile with my new mailbox. And that's all there is to it. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.